Okay, we are looking at interpreting our remainder as a fraction with a couple questions here. So our first question is, Kayla has a pet puppy. She needs a bag of puppy food to last 10 days. The bag contains 23 cups of food. If Kayla feeds the puppy the same amount each day, how many cups of food should she feed the puppy? So first of all, remember that our dividend is our first number in a number sentence, and it is what are we splitting? So in this case here, we are splitting 23 cups of food. And it has to last 10 days. So our 10 days is actually going to be our divisor, which is the second number in the number model. So if we're looking at our number model, it would be 23 divided by, because we are splitting the food. Remember, splitting means that we are dividing or sharing the food equally with 10 days equals, and now C for cups of food will do. So then we need to set up the problem with our big seven. So remember our divisor is on the outside. Our dividend is in the inside. So how many tens can you take out of 23? So if we take two tens out, two times 10 is 20. Subtract that. Can we take any more tens out of three? In this case, we cannot. So that means that we have two cups with the remainder of three. So our remainder in unit two, we said we could either ignore it or round it up. But now we're gonna talk about making it into a fraction because it would be wasteful to ignore it and we cannot round it up because we don't have enough food. So the other option we have is changing into a fraction. So we can take our remainder of three and split it back up with 10 days. And if you remember at the beginning of unit three, we said that really our dividend goes in our numerator and our divisor goes in our denominator. So then, Kayla would actually feed her dog every day, or I should say puppy, every day, two whole cups of food, and then the leftover we could split with 10 days and it would turn into three tenths. So our answer is two and three tenths a cup of puppy food. Let's try another one. Okay, so if Nick has 10 feet of bulletin board paper to make seven posters, school spirit posters, if he wanted each poster to be the same size and use all the paper, leaving no scraps, how big should the poster be? Typo there. So the first thing that we need to look at is what are we splitting? That's our dividend. Are we splitting 10 feet of bulletin board paper? Or are we splitting seven school spirit posters? So we are splitting 10 feet of bulletin board paper. So our dividend is the first number in the number sentence. Divided by how many posters are we making is our divisor? Seven. 
equals, we'll say P for posters. So in this case, our dividend is 10. So remember that goes inside our big seven. And our divisor is seven. So again, how many times can seven go into 10? Well, if we take one group of seven out, that leaves us with three. Can any more sevens come out of three? It is not possible. So our answer would be one with the remainder of three feet of paper. Remember, your remainder is whatever your dividend was. So in this case, it's bulletin board paper. So are we able to split up paper into smaller portions than a whole? We can. We can make this a fractional amount. So we're, again, going to take our three left over and split it back with our divisor of seven which would give us three sevenths. Because remember at the beginning of the unit, we said our dividend is in our numerator and our divisor is in our denominator. So this case, we would have one and three sevenths foot of paper per poster if he wanted to make seven posters. So some of you may have caught on that our remainder always ends up going in our numerator. And then our divisor always ends up going, so seven is our divisor, in the denominator. So when you are looking to make your remainder, oops, sorry, started saying denominator and started writing denominator. When you are looking to make your remainder into a fraction, you can remember that your remainder goes in the numerator and the divisor goes in the denominator. This is key for you to remember. That is the important part of the lesson. Remainder in your numerator, divisor in your denominator. So I hope when you go to make fraction or remainders into a fraction that this little video helps you remember where to put your remainder and where your divisor goes.